One thing we've seen about photonics in the past couple of years is it's being adopted as a platform for more and more applications. I'm speaking of silicon photonics in particular. It has moved, it has evolved from a platform for high speed, high throughput, high capacity interconnects for data centers into a platform for so much more, ranging from biosensors for next generation Apple watches and other wearables to LiDAR on a chip that will provide vision for autonomous vehicles. So many new applications. And with those new applications come new demand. We are starting to see uh, analysts looking at these new applications and projecting volumes that are going to be a problem. They're going to be a problem because right now, if you listen to the industry players for silicon photonics, uh, Intel, for example, has achieved an annual rate of over two million transceivers for data centers every year. That's, that's an incredible achievement. But then you see some of these other applications that are being forecast for a thousand times more chips per year. LiDAR for cars, for example, there are a lot more cars than there are data centers out there. Um, wearable technology, uh, quantum computing is another you know, up and coming application that is going to need silicon photonics. We need to automate and we need to take advantage of the high speed capabilities that have come to market in the past two years, for example. Here is an example. It's a serving suggestion of a, an application that will require uh, uh, very high speed manufacturing. Here we have taken a platform and that platform can be any diameter. This platform is big enough for two chips to be processed simultaneously. So you can have two process steps operating in parallel here. And so we're doing a double sided alignment of an array device, a multi-channel array device. The technology that we're showing here is capable of performing simultaneous alignments of inputs, outputs across multiple degrees of freedom. So rather than lengthy loops, it just happens in typically less than a second to get the alignment. So you can see on the screen uh, the uh, alignment processes and the scanning processes, the characterization of the devices all happening very rapidly. And you can imagine the carousel like this with pick and place in one location and glue dispensing and inspection, metrology all happening in parallel. That is the kind of throughput oriented architecture that the photonics industry must adopt if we are going to keep pace with the demand that we see coming from these new applications. The theme of high speed automation, high throughput manufacturing, cost effective manufacturing. It needs to be implemented in different ways for different types of products. So for example, we've taken the same parallel alignment technology, the same technology that we showed you in the last workstation where we can perform multiple inputs, outputs, degrees of freedom using the uh, six degree of freedom mechanisms you saw. We've taken that same technology and we've built it into other products in our product line. For example, here, is a six degree of freedom, all piezo positioner. Six degrees of freedom, extremely high reliability, extremely high lifetime because piezo devices, piezo flexor mechanisms, there, there are no wear mechanisms, no particulate generation mechanisms, so it's extremely clean and extremely high resolution as well. So this piezo hexapod is part of our nanocube family of positioners. It has these alignment algorithms built in. You can see it running here doing an array alignment. And the interesting thing about this is that even though it is a piezo flexor mechanism, it has very large travels for a piezo flexor mechanism. About half a millimeter of travel. That's more than enough to accommodate the production variances from part to part and fixturing and things of that sort. So this is a highly optimized mechanism for high throughput manufacturing and test of photonic devices. Here, you might want to bring the camera over so that you can see what's going on here. We've taken our fast alignment mechanism, our fast alignment technology, and we've built it into linear motor stages, compact 
very cost-effective linear motor stages that are able to do the alignment technologies as I've described it. And these algorithms are all built into the controller. That's one reason why they're so fast. So that means we can control it with a simple HMI like this, so that in a production application, the the robustness of the controller-based architecture is one of the benefits for an application of this sort. In many materials, sciences, life sciences, applications, and biomedicine, and things of that sort, it's necessary to perform optical metrology and imaging of specimens, samples. For example, you may have a well plate which can contain biological samples and each of these wells needs to be scanned and inspected and measured perhaps for uh, optical characteristics and things of that sort. So what we've done is we've built a very flexible platform that you can build an application around. It's part of our PI Nano approach of uh, modular, coarse and fine and structural uh, architectures for building generic applications. So in this case, you can see many examples of configurations built on the same theme here, the same kind of mechanisms. And so people are building entire tools out of this. You can see in the open architecture, underneath you, you have a very flexible, very rigid, very high precision architecture for building optical metrology that combines optical instrumentation with very high high performance coarse fine positioning of your samples. Here's another example of a PI Nano coarse fine system that customers can use to build a microscopy based system for optical metrology, automated optical metrology of, of large samples. Well plates again are a very common example, but it can be any number of other things, ranging from microscope slides to uh, samples of materials and things of that sort. The optical metrology is something that the customer would address using whatever instrumentation they may need for, uh, for their particular metrology. These systems are available with multiple degrees of freedom with additional optional uh, piezo autofocus, very fast piezo autofocus uh, for optical imaging applications, to be joysticks for, uh, for manual positioning, as well as the automated functionality. Now, we have many, many applications in photonics for beam steering, fast beam steering. For example, writing uh, patterns on a, on a wafer or a substrate of some sort, or uh, writing a photo mask or free space optical communications where you basically do the same thing you do with, with optical fiber communications. Light goes in one side, comes out the other. You could confer uh, data and information from one side to the other. We'll take the fiber away and that's, that's what free space optical communications is. It is actually a very important field for photonics in general because uh, you see applications and uh, companies like SpaceX and Amazon's Project Kuiper, uh, which are using arrays of low Earth orbit satellites, beaming laser beams between each other so that you can get internet connectivity from any point on the Earth's surface to another, any other point on the Earth's surface with very low latencies because these satellites are only uh, a couple hundred miles up. So that requires beam steering to lock the communications between satellites and to enable uh, uh, the, the satellite to ground communications as well. So that sort of mirror mount is something that we make in large quantities using piezo technology and also voice coil technology depending on the application. So here you can see an application where we are making rapid patterns, very repeatable, using one of these, in this case it's a voice coil driven mount. So to our customers and colleagues in the photonics industry, I'd like to summarize by saying thank you. Thank you for working with us, for being our customers and colleagues uh, over the past 51 years of PI's existence. As we confront the challenges that the industry's success is posing for us, please think of us. Please give us a call. We are a global company. We have applications as engineers and specialists around the world. 
who can help you with your applications, whether it's on Earth or in orbit, in a fab, in a laboratory, give us a call.